full strength because Pinkfresh in the history has mostly played secondaries against Slash. Uh, they are 1 1 in Brawler Min Min sets, so we're going to see how this one goes. Suplex! I love that move. But also, I love just how chill Pinkfresh is looking. <laughs> yeah, right he, now. Was, he was loud. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So at point Adam before the set, so I was like, is is he awake right now? That's just classic, classic pink. Yeah. Slashy is someone who has studied the Min Min, -min matchup very closely, uh, one of his practice partners being a Min Min player. Obviously not close to the level of Pink Fresh, but he's very comfortable just kind of playing around this character's moves. And we're kind of seeing that right now in the opening stages of this game one. Stuff is very even. Yeah. It's important to have a good practice partner against Min Min because like, if you don't know how to deal with Min Min stuff, it's hard to just figure that out on the fly, especially one of the caliber of uh, Pink. Yeah, this is a character where it feels like the just the suite of options that you're going to be using has to be different than it is against other characters in this game. Yeah. Ooh. Trying to go for that up smash, gets up smashed back, but not taking the stock quite yet. And the Nair is going to finish it out. Pink Fresh opening up the game with the stock. A hard fought one at that at 106%, but Min Min with all that rage, if she gets her feet planted again, I fear for Slash's life here. But that's not going to happen. Right, so Pink Fresh plummeting to his death there. Game just about even. Right. That flip kick, he's actually getting a lot of mileage off that in this game. He's here. done it a lot on Pink Fresh's shield. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's he's been laughing that stuff. He's been going for some crazy footstool things, starting to actually use them in bracket. Um, we'll see if it's good or not. I still haven't decided if it's actually practical, but yeah. Yeah, it looked like you dropped right there. A little bit of a, like, what I learned in boating school moment. It's like, <laughs> what, what do I do here? Because what's scary is he has the reaction time to see which way you're DI'ing and then just react to your tech, op tech option with falling there, like, no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. All right, but these higher percents. I feel like pink is actually, okay. Got out of that range, but I was saying, like, 80-ish percent is the perfect percent for you to get comboed and killed against this character, I think. Yeah, he's getting a lot of use out of Neutral Air. Neutral Air, a great move in this matchup because of how often Brawler is chasing you in the air. You're trying to get those up airs, you're trying to get those nares. Sometimes, if their spacing is just a little bit off, uh, you can just swing that Neutral Air around. However, the, uh, the it ends up being the arm that takes the stock there. And it looks like off a shield poke, too. Yeah. Sheesh. I think that's oh, a... No, oh, no, we actually have to get up attack. Forward throw, though. Not taking it just yet. Yeah. Has high base knockback, but not a lot of scaling. It won't be killing to like 180-ish. Yeah. And Slashy thought he had the distance for that uh, up smash off the roll, but not quite. Just feels like Pink Fresh has been evading him by just a little bit each time. We're punishing quite hard. There's the Nair. Good reaction. It's one of those things you wouldn't normally pick, but that situation, you know, it's just enough to get the kill. Just go for it. Yeah, once you get to a high enough percent, that strong Nair does end up killing. And it's a great ledge trapping tool because it's frame three, so you can just react. Yeah. Game looking very even between these two right now. However, Slashy near the ledge, using this flip kick to great effect. Absolutely. It's one of those options that actually weirdly goes to an angle. It's kind of hard to cover for Nimbit sometimes, you see? Because mm -hmm. the arms go straight out, but they don't go above. Yes, I always say that like, that big blind spot, like the 45 degree angle, like you can really work that angle to get a lot of mileage. Oh, not going to kill just yet. Yeah, Nimbit too heavy to be dying off the ground about most of the time. But obviously, something you got to be worried about. It does a whole lot of damage. Yeah, you can tell Slashy's looking for uh, falling uh, up there. And I don't know what Pink Fresh is looking for, but I know that Slashy did not want any part of it. Going for these high double jumps. Just trying to get around Min Min's effective range. Which is hard, because that effective range is very long, and that neutral air, not taking it just yet. Good DI. And wait, still an opportunity. That air dodge maybe signs of panic, but. There's the up smash. Yeah. That was, actually looked like Slashy almost crossed up the shield and then just tried to like go back in front to maybe mix up Pink a little bit. And Pink, you you just can't test his reactions like that. He's seen every version of mix that there is to offer in his like over a decade long career in this game. Yeah, <laughs> Pink Rush looks like he's not having that great of a time right now. <laughs> Listen, he just had a kid recently, and like kids do not, like. They're just like is an age from like maybe three to seven months. Yeah. Where sometimes they just don't sleep. Yes. <laughs> they just start screaming at night. Uh -huh. Me too, you know, just like me for real. But like they start screaming at night because they don't know that sleep will actually cure all that. Yeah, and so. then, you, then you gotta go deal with me brawler after all that. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. It's like a special version of hell. Yeah, I believe I've heard Pink Fresh say Slashy is one of his least favorite people to fight. Um, he just feels like he like is able to get really close to Min Min and just kind of go through all the, uh, the camping that you're trying to do. Yeah, the bootleg Fox Mario matchup. 
But like, it's kind of the fusion of Fox and Mario that works to combat Min Min really well. Like, and a lot of characters are like, oh yeah, I prefer Fox here, I prefer Mario here. And this, like, Min Min, like, I feel like struggles against um, Brawler harder than Mario. Fox, though, Fox kind of bodies Min Min, let's be real. Oh, percent too high to get the down throw thrupper there. Instead, just going for the forward throw. Has not had too much success with the edge guarding. Uh, Pink Fresh has avoided the shot puts very nicely. And there we go, hitting the Megawatt. And that's taking the first stock yet again. It never fails to surprise me how... Uh-oh. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> um, how Pink Fresh can SD there. But also, um, how like people explode with Megawatts. Yeah. Like, I've been watching Min Min for like three years now, I think. Yeah, and like people still just explode at like 70, 80, 90% and just, they're gone. Oh, he was going for that footstool stuff yet again. Once again, doesn't work out, but I like the idea. He's just trying to put him on a horrible position on that platform so he can try and get the grab into the down throw up. I think Pink, Pink might have jumped here, actually. Okay, no, he did. Someone in chat asking, why do people use suplex for your brother? It's a very versatile option. It has very little lag if you use it in the air. It does a pretty set, like 23%-ish which is quite a lot of damage, and it puts your opponent in a really tough position. On it will never kill, but it's a good move. On top of that, too, people are conditioned to hold shield against opponents that are in the air because it's safe 90% of the time. Having an aerial command grab it just opens up um, like that option and maybe opens up more avenues to getting kills and more damage later on. So it's a multifaceted tool. It's actually pretty good. And Nick also saying the last thing. Also, the rest of the moves just suck. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, so that pretty much covers all of it. Yeah, Slashy, a player who is not going to be using that move as much in this matchup, just because Min Min always has a hitbox in front of her. Uh, so it's pretty difficult to actually get it to work. The reverse huh. bounce of the Nair ends up taking the stock there. Why do you go so far? Then? Actually, OK, another load of nerd stuff. You actually accelerate a little bit after being bounced off the wall. So yeah. sometimes, like, there are times where you're at the fringe of being untackled, and if you, like, touch the stage, the game codes you at being untackable because it calculates um, the speed after you bounce off the wall. It's really bizarre stuff. This game is held together by pins and needles. It sure thing. is. Not going for the back throw there because it wouldn't have killed. Oh, and that up smash is going to give it Slashy an avenue for a punish. Just going for the safe down throw forward air upbeat. Why am I scared for Pink to die right now? Oh no, I almost, I almost <laughs> I had my That's So Raven. you almost spoke that into existence. <laughs> I almost had my That's So Raven moment. Like, <laughs> I don't know if what If he gets like was. up tilted onto the platform and then that sets up a bad position where he gets grabbed, he very much could die. Okay, the up tilt is <laughs> gonna take the stop. Yeah. Think smiling a little bit. You never want to be killing with mid mid up tilt. Yeah, that's, that's just a sign that something else went horribly wrong in your game yeah. plan. Yeah, and Slashy really stalking off stage, covering this ledge. Uh oh, uh oh. Tons of damage, not the stock quite yet. Nice, good chase right there from Slashy. And now we're in for another ledge trap. Mibra's ledge trapping ain't the strongest, but that option it will set up for the other one. Slashy bring himself on the board 1-1. One, one. There we go. It's that Brawler's ledge trapping can be stronger than you might think just because of how quick the air is. Yeah. Uh, if you can play really well on reaction, which Slashy absolutely can, uh, you can just kind of hold shield at the ledge. Um, React to get up attack, react to neutral get up, and react to roll with uh, drop shield side B. Uh, and that right there, that covers three options. You just got to worry about jump. So, mm -hmm. like, it's a very simple flow chart that Slashy has, um, like, really been working on over time. Solid. All right, Pink Fresh being one of the few players I trust the Ox, going with Bomb Rush Blush, which means. <laughs> yep, we're going small battlefield. Go! All right, so here we are at small battlefield. Moving on into game three of this set. Can often be the decider. Interesting that Pitfresh would choose to go back here. Yeah, it feels like maybe he just says, okay, I got the download. I know what's happening here. Or yeah. maybe PS2 was offline, just like, all right, yeah, small battlefield, it's fine. You do love the buy plats as Min Min. You can just sit under those platforms. On this one, because the stage is a little bit smaller, your uh, your arms cover so much of it that like that can be pretty effective. Mm. Yeah, case in point, just getting batted across the stage. Yeah, good no DIY. Yeah, down B here, but able to make it back. Yeah, Slashy did really good to DIY right there because if you did anything but that, you probably would have gotten attacked by that dragon shot. And that up smash a little bit overzealous. Oh, he was going for some stuff there on that platform, but instead going to get mega wadded. Pink Fresh takes a pretty big lead here. That was a really good forward smash from Pink. Sensing that Slashy knew that there weren't going to be a lot of opportunities to get the party started, so he was going to push the envelope as far as mm -hmm. he can. Pink just put in a kibosh to all of that. Oh, 
Oh, trying to stalk with that up air, trying to catch that jump, but Pick Fresh just went a little bit above it. Feels like Slashy has had the right idea on a lot of these reads. The distance is just Pick Fresh is holding back, holding forward, going in the right direction he needs to to just get barely out of the way. Great DI on the falling up air as well to avoid the up the afterwards. All right, the jab is going to get you some positioning. Now Pink Fresh just jockeying for a little bit of position. Looking for that grab, not going to find it. Good drop down back air from Slashing, but still not going to be quite enough. But got an airs? Nope, no need. Just going to dash back right through. Yeah, good catch there. He's taking his time, but he does need to seal out this stock soon. Right now, he's just kind of going for the high percentage move. He's trying to get a hit. He's just standing there menacing. Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good recovery. Oh, we're trying to get that reaction, but just a little bit late. And he went super high, and Pink Fresh just waited and used that up of his own. And now the parry, yeah, percent is really starting to get out of hand right now. Uh oh, what when you don't steal a stock out. Yeah, you cannot leave anything on your plate against Pink Fresh. Nice. Oh, great shield there. Yeah, I thought Slash was going to go for grab forward throw there, but uh, instead, he's going to pay the price. He's down three stocks to one. Actually got one hit of the up B. And yeah, he's looking for an up air into something. Near out shield, there finally enough. Yeah, that's the one saving grace. Brother can sometimes have trouble sealing out those stocks to that high percentage when his kill confirm stopped working. However, you do eventually, you are just able to kill with your near out of shield, which is nice. Because that's the move you're going for 80% of the time anyway. Right now, Pink Crush is looking very dominant in this game. He's actually going to try and get something started. Quick 36. Nice. Something Pink Fresh has been doing really well is just making sure that um, the pressure hasn't been too overwhelming. Yeah. Like he's always willing to swing and usually correct. Mm -hmm. hey. Nice. Wow, at that spacing. That was pixel perfect. Yeah, he's starting to catch on to the way Slashy is trying to use that down special. And it's getting to the point where he's gotten punished for it more often than not. And that up smash is going to catch him hanging out in the air. Pink Fresh with a two stock game three. Yeah, far cry from what we saw in the previous game. Dude, he was just like chasing him all around the stage, not finding any footing. Yeah. So looking a little rough. I'm curious what the counter pick's going to be. Um, I think technically this is weird. So I just can't actually just go back because of DSR. We'll see if Big Fresh cares about that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Might just be like, yeah, go wherever. We'll run it. Ooh, okay. This is an interesting choice. So Kalos, at first you look at this and you're like, what is Brawler doing here? Um, like, what, what is the point? You're not going to be getting early kills on the platforms. You have all this room for Minmin to run away. You also have all this room for me, Brawler, to run away. If you can establish a lead here, uh, shot put can be on the, from the platforms can be very annoying for Minmin to deal with. True. Yeah. Yeah. You still got some level of combos. Uh-oh. Ah, just a little bit too far. But not losing out on much for it. Ooh. It sets up for the kill as well. Slashy stealing that right back. Falling up air into his second one, into the up special, and that is a quick lead from Slashy. He's still pushing. I feel like you can take a moment here. Uh, that's kind of why you picked this stage, is to be able to uh, not necessarily have to interact quite as much. Mm. Just a good quick catch, and the extra credit is really starting to rack up. This one. Really? This shouldn't. Not quite. Yeah, I was going to say, if it did, <laughs> we have a problem. Yeah. Oh, he rolled there instead of going for the second up air. Well, one of those things where, like, you're not confident enough in your combo start to actually hit that you get surprised when it does. Yeah. It's like, dang, I got that read. All right, stocks are evened up right now. There's that there. Yeah, oh, there's again. Every time Pink Fresh swings off the ledge, he gets an air for it. Mm. It's been pretty consistent. It seems like they're having a mini game competition on who can get the hall or hardest roll read. <laughs> because there have been Keep several times it. where it's like, oh, yeah, you're going to roll. Haha. -ha. And then it's like, you're not going to read my roll. I'm going to read your roll. <laughs> it's pretty funny, honestly. Yeah. Well, it's funny. A lot of Minmin's options kind of incidentally re roll, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Kitchen that roll in. It's very much a checkmate when you get put in that tech situation because the arms can cover just about anything. Oh, trying to go for that back air, but Pink Fresh with the second neutral air to get him off it. That was a great call. And these neutral airs are getting a lot of mileage, and wow with that. Not getting quite the right angle. 184, though, and still alive. Beyond max rage and still thriving. Yeah, Slashy had a big lead here, but uh, it's kind of letting it get away from him. And he might lose this stock first at this point. 
Oh, great call with the uh, down smash to get away from the up smash. <laughs> that move isn't supposed to kill. <laughs> Let's wait for a second. Which one was it? Dash attack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and trying to go for what he thought was going to combo, and it didn't quite work out. We are even. This is what happens. When you don't finish your plate against Min Min, she will eventually just lap you because, uh-oh, her kill power is just so much higher than most other characters. Yeah. yeah. There's a thrupper into a back air. This advantage state is really working out for Slasher right now. Push here at the ledge. Nice, good tick throw. Yeah, it's actually a player who loves going for that jab grab stuff. Oh, Smash not going to take it quite yet. Uh oh. This is scary. You get back thrown by Min Min on a stage like this where you can't go under? Yeah. You Using could the explode. There we go. Yeah, Slash, she's fishing for survival, gets the grab to remove the powered up arm. There again. we go. Yeah. Now the window of opportunities gets that much higher. Nice. Oh, but... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That has a lot of lag, but Pinkfresh did not... Yeah, and there's the back air. This should kill. Yeah, Just it will. Barely. And that brings us to another Game 5 this evening. There's sure so does. many of those. All right, so got a little bit scary there for Slashy, but we are going to a fifth game in this set. We're going to be here late. Yeah. <laughs> I'm anticipating a... 12.30 ending time, maybe. Might be, might be. Let's see, yeah, because we still have... Actually, Creepooba tends to have fast sets. Yeah, so. could for sure. All right, Pinkfresh versus Slashy, game five. Who's going to fall at fourth? Who's going to move on? We're going to see. And we're going to a stage which can have... Oh, we're back to Kalos. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we saw very much why. I feel like we didn't get to see that much of the uh, the Brawler Circle camping on this stage in the last game. It's certainly an option that he has, but I think Pinkfresh was doing a good job put, placing himself in a range where it wasn't quite as effective. And now he's got quite a percent lead at the beginning of this game. Did Pinkfresh counterpick the stage he lost on every time this set? Sure did. What, what no! a chat move. Oh, he's still back. Yeah, a little bit of a miss input there from Slashy, but Pinkfresh didn't punish it. He was able to make it back. Do you go helpless after side B? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> you go right in a free fall. And yeah, this is a huge lead for Pinkfresh to start off this game. Slash is going to need something big, but uh, Pinkfresh has just been playing around him very nicely, keeping him in disadvantage for quite a while every time he gets a hit. All right, this could be the something that starts to bring it back. Yes, yeah, starts to get a lot of damage on the board and calling out the air-to-air -air situations that uh, Pinkfresh has normally either not interacted with or just uh, threw out it early in air. Yeah, one of the issues with Kalos for Brawler is that your moves are going to be killing just that much later. So you get at this point where you're at, at 100%. This doesn't really feel like death percent for uh, Pink Fresh yet. Like, I feel like Slashy's going to need a few more interactions before you can actually seal out the stock. Mm. Right. Yeah, we saw, we saw Pink Fresh move to some super high percents earlier in the set. Oh, the shot put actually might have saved his life there. Yeah, it blocked the arm. Yeah, Slashy. Looking like he's having a very hard time getting anything going right now. Every time he lands on shield, gets called out. Every time he tries to jump at Pink Fresh, a Nair and up smash is waiting. Mm. It's just getting rougher and rougher by the second. Yeah, this is looking really tough. And now three stocks to one. Bro. Something happens, something clicks in between games. He used to lose games on the stage more often because mm. both times that happened, he just, like, body his opponent. This looks like this is a trend so far, but Slashy gets a good edge guard still in this game. All right, getting something started, but we'll see. It's a little too early. Yeah, just down by so much. You're going to need a miracle. You're going to need an edge guard of some sort, some fancy thrupper stuff. And Pink Fresh is not letting him have anything right now. Yeah. No free launch here. Good spot dodge. Actually, that might have been the thing he needed, but not quite getting the tech chase. A little bit scrambled, a little bit in like full hot mode, it looks like. And Slashy lets foot off the gas pedal. I think. Yeah, oh, there's it might no be jump. Too I late. think that's going to be it. Yeah, there right. we go. And Pinkfresh ends up sealing out the set in the fifth game. Good stuff. Good stuff. Another game five, another big dub. Pinkfresh looking as cozy as always. Just chilling. 
Oh, yeah. He's comfortable with these situations. He's played so many of them over the years, it doesn't face him anymore. Yeah. It's literally just another Tuesday <laughs> in the office for him. Like, for, him, for a player like Slashy, who's newer to the scene, right? Obviously, at this point, has been PR quite a few times. Uh, very, like, standard here in late in bracket here at Xanadu. Mm -hmm. But, like, you still, for you, it still feels like there's something on the line in those situations, right? Yeah. For Pinkfresh, he has a kid. It's just Tuesday, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, who cares? I would say Pinkfresh <laughs> could have retired two years ago uh -huh. and had a better legacy than, like, the vast majority of players in this, like, game or mm -hmm. in this entire community would ever have. Like, he yeah. doesn't have much to prove anymore. Mm -hmm. There's no pressure there in those Game 5 situations. Yeah. Yep, yep. And the fact that he is still able to get passionate about the game is, like, really cool. Mm 